Probiotics, it's quite the buzzword these days, right? Most of us have heard that probiotics help us keep healthy flora working in our digestive systems, but you may not realize that we also need certain kinds of bacteria in our mouths to stay healthy. Today on The Balancing Act, my guest is Linda Lauren, who has been promoting oral care for more than 20 years. And we're also welcoming Susan Cook, who's got a fascinating story to share. Thank you both so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having us. Now, I'm excited to be talking about oral health care because I'm a brusher, a flosser. I use mouth rinse day and night but you're telling me I might not be doing all the right things. Well, I think, Beth, the brushing and flossing, you're doing a fantastic job. Good. And I definitely would always recommend seeing your dentist regularly and having professional cleanings. What you may want to reconsider, though, is the mouth rinse. Ooh. What most people don't realize is that mouth rinses typically kill all the bacteria in your mouth indiscriminately, which means while it's killing all the bad bacteria that you don't want, it's also killing all of the good bacteria that you really need to maintain good oral health. Oh, so we need some bacteria in our mouths. We need this good bacteria. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, just like how you would eat yogurt to maintain good gut health, it's the same thing in your mouth. We need the good bacteria in our mouth to help us do things like have fresher breath, have healthy teeth and gums, and to have our teeth look white and beautiful and not stained. Now, a lot of people think that you know, taking care of your mouth so that you have a beautiful smile is just about vanity, but it's really not. It's about whole body health, right? Absolutely. It is so much more than cosmetic. You know, more and more today we're seeing studies from the Mayo Clinic, the ADA, and what we're realizing is that oral health is really linked to the health of our entire body. Periodontal disease will affect 75% of our population. Wow. That's three out of four people, Beth, watching the show today. So it is a really big problem for us. And it's linked to all sorts of things like heart disease, kidney disease, arthritis, even some forms of cancer. Believe it or not, unhealthy teeth and gums have even been associated with things like obesity, diabetes, and pregnancy complications. There's even examples where it's linked to premature births. So wow. it's a huge issue for all of us. So one thing that we need to do is get some of this good probiotic bacteria in our mouths. How can we, how can we do this? Well, one very simple way is to take an oral care probiotic, Evora Plus. It's a very simple, chewable, delicious mint that you take twice daily, and it will repopulate the good bacteria in your mouth, so it will work 24 hours a day to help keep your breath fresh, your teeth whiter, and your gum and teeth healthier. And keep your whole body healthier in the process. Two times a day, that's really easy to do. Now, Susan, you've got a pretty interesting personal story. What was your, what's your lifestyle like that has you know, had created dental problems in the past? Well, I'm a smoker, a coffee drinker, and a red wine drinker. My All Things. All the bad things. My teeth were always stained. My gums were very unhealthy. My gums would bleed when I would brush and I would floss. I started taking this incredible miracle mint twice a day. My gums turned pink. They stopped bleeding when I brush. My teeth are actually white and I'm not afraid to smile anymore. That's pretty amazing. How did it affect you, your oral problems or, you know, earlier in your life? You, you recently got married and it affected your wedding day, right? Well, I was afraid to smile on my own wedding pictures. I was afraid to show my teeth. It was embarrassing. They were brown, but I'm not afraid anymore. Yeah, you've got great pearly whites now. So she hasn't had to change her lifestyle, even though she, she's added the probiotics to her life. You don't have to make this huge change in order to be healthy orally. Absolutely. That's what's great about this product, Beth, is that, you know, using Evora Plus is sort of like having chalk in one hand and an eraser in the other. You can continue to have your red, red wine, your coffee, your tea, all those products that stain your teeth, and use Evora Plus just like an eraser to get rid of all those stains. Oh, that's a great analogy, the chalk and the eraser. Now, where can people find out how they can uh, buy this mint, this probiotic mint? You can go to EvoraPlus.com and you'll get a full list of all the retailers and online providers for the product. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Great information for everybody today. Thank you so much for having us. Now stick around because coming up on The Balancing Act, we'll show you how to pep yourself up for hours with just one skinny calorie. Keep it right here.